Let's go. So, uh, what's the plan? Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, I, I've, I've never got rid of a dead body before. I, I don't know the best way. Wait, wait. What do you mean, get rid of a dead body? That's that's what I called you for. If you were being serious, I thought you were talking code. How could I just kill a man? What could I possibly be called for? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. So, uh, where's the body? Ah, I don't know what that smell was. So, uh, how did he die? Well, uh, I pushed him and, and he fell, yeah. Right. Well, I was, I was, so do you have any experience? You know, you kind of seem like a weird guy. I wouldn't be surprised with a few dead bodies in your basement. So, d do you have any experience? Well, uh, my pet hamster died a couple of weeks back. Well, unless you plan on burying him in a shoebox in the backyard, that is not going to do much good to us. You're right. We definitely need a bigger box. But. First thing we need to do is, is move the body. Why? Because at any minute, someone could come walking along there, get a bit too curious, look in, see me and you, and a dead body, get scared and run away, and then call the cops. And within five minutes, I could be doing 25 to life. I could get the death sentence. I could be doing 25 to life. Yeah, yeah, that too. We, we can move him upstairs. Grant, you grab his arms, I'll grab his ass. Okay, so we need to think of a way to get rid of the body without being caught. Do you have any ideas yet? Well, what if we roll him up in a rug? I don't own a fucking rug. Will you take that thing off? I can't hear a word you're saying. What if? We roll him up in a carpet. I don't own a carpet. Plus, that's the same thing as a rug. Stop suggesting rolling them up in things. What if we lay out a series of towels, we place them on the towels, and then we wrap them? I swear to God. I think I have an idea. Lift! 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 Shut the fuck up! Hey! What if we 
roll. Well, that was a fucking disaster. Uh, what do we do with the cop show up? Say he tried to commit suicide from a 10 foot drop. How do you explain the six inch gash on his throat? Birds? Birds? The wind? Just go downstairs, get me a knife from the kitchen drawer, and meet me in the bathroom. Just get the knife. I said hand me the knife, not stab me with it. Give it to me. This is a butter knife. And? It's a medical cool butter, not skin. I want to come up with the pieces, not make them a slice of toast. This can cut skin perfectly. Watch this. I can't do it. It's too hard. What do you mean it's too hard? You say the knife isn't sharp? The knife is perfectly sharp. Well, it looks like we need a new plan. You know, I think it's the perfect way to get rid of this guy. Once and for all. Oh! oh. That better be the knife. Done. What do you think? It looks alive to me. You can't be serious. What's the matter? He looks like a cheap prostitute. And not a good one. That was your big idea. Make him look like a clown that ran through a car wash. Oh, I don't put these stupid plans. I say we put them in the car, bring up some remote, and dump them. Fine, it's not a bad idea. Ooh, my best work anyway. Well, he wasn't dead before. He is now. Go get him! <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm on my way to work. I live next door. Did you two kill that man? Uh, no. Well, I can either arrest you for murder or soliciting a male prostitute. Yeah, yeah, I, I killed him, yeah. Well then raise your hand high above your head. I said raise them. This is crazy. I've never killed anyone in my life. For being arrested for murder, I'm in a prostitution. I've never killed anyone. This man, this man murdered this guy and took me hostage and made me help clean it up. And he killed my hamster. Huh? This is crazy. One question before prison. Anybody else feeling feel a little woozy? 